I eat the same thing for breakfast every morning. So basically what I do, I take about three quarters of a cup of this Oikos vanilla yogurt, mix in some blueberries and raspberries and I wash them, put them together and just lightly drizzle them with Canadian maple syrup. And then I top it with about a quarter cup of this granola by Nature Valley. And I like it because it is high in protein. And I find that this keeps me full until about noon hour. So this is my breakfast every morning. So this is this week's groceries. All of this came to $100. I love these little clementines. I usually have two around 3 o'clock in the afternoon for my snack. And then I found these uh, wraps. They're high in protein. And if you're on Weight Watchers, I believe they're four points. I plan on making some uh, fajitas maybe tonight for supper. And then, of course, my Weight Watchers bread. I got four packs of the Old El Paso taco seasoning. It was on sale for for five dollars. This is the yogurt that I have every morning with my berries and granola. It's the Oikos 2% vanilla flavored. I can't stand the taste of plain. So I spend the points on Weight Watchers and uh, eat the vanilla. Got some low fat sour cream for my fajitas. Unfortunately, they didn't have any avocados. Bananas, uh, some apples. These are Pink Lady. I don't love apples, but I have discovered these and they have both a sweetness and a tartness to them. And I got some 7-Up, some popsicles. They're melting. There are my berries. I always have berries for breakfast, blueberries and raspberries. And I uh, was craving something sweet, so I like these soft Werther's Original Eclairs. They're caramel with chocolate in the middle. Some cheese for the fajitas. This tiny bag of cheese was $6.50. Goes to show you how expensive groceries are in Canada. Husband's lemonade, peppers for the fajitas, some spinach. Husband likes ice cream, so we got tiger tail and uh, Neapolitan. And then his yogurt is the raspberry pomegranate. And I hate looking at clutter, so this is the one goal that I want to accomplish today because I really don't still feel that great, but this is driving me nuts. And I'll show you, this is where I keep my skincare. Still using the IT Hello results retinol on my neck. My holy grail moisturizer. Why is this camera not focusing? I don't know why my camera's not focusing. I think it's getting a little worn out. But anyways, you can see this is all my skincare. My uh, hydrating toner that I love is pretty near getting empty. I love this lip scrub by MAC, it is so nice. And this is uh, an old uh, vitamin C I just use on the back of my hands. That's my facial tool. And that's just a uh, travel size of cleanser that I want to use up. Got my brand new retin ink prescription ready to go. Sample of some shampoo. Look at what I snagged. Don't worry, it's not real. I wish that it was, but I found this on Amazon. Like a real one is I think a thousand dollars. I got this for 30. I thought it was cute. I really am loving this foundation by IT. It is the Powder Illumination Foundation. Love it. And I really am loving their bronzer. Such a nice bronzer. It does not turn orange on me, which a lot of times they do. So I feel so much better now that this is picked up. I had some makeup on my quartz countertop and I went and got this Method uh, Granite Cleaner and it took it right off. It does such a nice job of cleaning kitchen bathroom countertops. So this is just a pile of masks and uh, samples of body cream that I want to try. So I just leave that there so I remember that I have it. Otherwise, I'll totally forget. And this is a little tower I bought on Amazon. And it just holds my hair products, my body cream for when I get out of the shower. I just like having things where I can see them but neatly uh, displayed. That way I'll, I'll use them. And then in this little thing are just like open mascaras, 
brow tints that uh, are open I want to use up and those are different contact lenses that I'm trying to see what feel best in my eye. My mirror which I absolutely love and use every day and then I bought this on Sephora and it's just a nice size drawer to keep all of my palettes organized but pretty looking and then my Dyson hair dryer all of my brushes and then just backups that I'm gonna have to open soon. And then in here, this drawer's kind of useless. This is my entire makeup collection. I know it's, it's not big, but it's big enough for me. And this is a note uh, I had mentioned before that I was chosen uh, last year to go to Toronto and I modeled for it Cosmetics. Canada and my picture is actually on the Sephora website for their CC cream. So I just kept that as a nice souvenir. So this is where I sit and do my makeup. It's where I had wanted to film my beauty videos, but you can see it's 20 after nine in the morning. It's a dull day, but the light isn't that great. And then when the sun is out, it's too bright. So it's not working out for me for filming here. And then underneath there, I'm starting another basket of empties. Let's give you a quick sneak peek. I'm waiting till everything is finished. But this is what our yard is looking like so far. This is the interlock. We had a really bad storm go through last night. Tons of rain washed away our fresh uh, grass seed and dirt. So that pipe sticking up right there is for a natural gas fire pit which is on back order of course because of COVID. And let me see if I can zoom in. This is a little um, flower bed that I'm working on. That's a Japanese maple tree. And I love those beautiful little yellow flowers. They come up every year. Well, they will come up every year. I just planted them. But I want to get a bird bath for in there and put my hummingbird feeder out. But I can't find a bird bath anywhere. They're sold out. So none until next spring. And you can see the grass seed is starting to poke through. So it's starting to look like a home. But I can't go out there today because it just rained so much. The guy still has to come finish our deck now that the interlock is done. That's all got to be closed in and capped with that Trex boarding. But on a sunny day, I'll, uh, I'll take you out and show you around the yard. But it's exciting. It's finally starting to look like a home. And our barbecue is going to go down here. Make more room. I want to get a sectional for up on the deck next year. I'm standing in front of my kitchen window where I can get some light. I still have a bit of a migraine today. I don't know, I'm gonna have to take some Tylenol. I haven't had one of these in a long time, thank God. They're awful. So today I'm just going to do laundry, I have to pay some bills, and uh, I think maybe plan out my videos for next week. I also have to finish editing an empties video that is gonna go up sometime this week, hopefully. If you could help me reach my goal, I really desperately wanna to get to 10,000 subscribers. It's just a number that I have in my head, a goal that I had set for myself. I get so discouraged and frustrated sometimes because I put so much time and effort into my YouTube channel and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I watch videos to try and teach myself about search engine optimization, making thumbnails, blah, 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 but I don't know, it just gets discouraging when you put in literally, you know, eight to 10 hours work on a video and only get a couple hundred views. Just feeling a little, guess, down on the dumps with how my YouTube channel growth is really slow. So if you enjoy my channel, could you do me a favor and share it with your family and friends and just get the word out there? I'd be so happy to get to 10,000 subscribers. And I have a bruise on my face. I noticed it two days ago and it must be from when I went for Botox last week. Although I thought all my needles went up here, but maybe, she, I think maybe I did get poked here, but it really hurt <clears throat> this time and it never has and I actually bled. So I'm thinking that it's a sinus related migraine because it's been so wet. And there was actually a tornado warning out again yesterday. I was worried for a little bit because the sky got very green and the wind was just wicked. But thankfully, um, all we got was just torrential downpour. And there's Monsieur Buddy. He's mad at mommy because I bought him this fancy dish off of Amazon. Because Buddy likes to spill his water all over the floor. 
So I think I have finally outsmarted him. Excuse me, baby. Can I get in here, please? I just want to show them your dish. That lifts up and catches, oh, all the water. <laughs> Buddy, get out of there. Which needs to be emptied, apparently. Sorry, bud. This tiny Sephora order just came. I ordered the new Bobbi Brown face disc. It's so pretty, and I'm so excited to try it. So hopefully tomorrow I feel better, have better lighting. That's what it looks like in the natural light. This is the light version. It's really pretty. So that's the bronzer. I think the top must be the blush. Oh, I guess there's two bronzing powders. So the, I think the top one is the blush and this is the bronzer and that's illuminated bronzer. It looks really dark on camera, but it's not. And it's in the light. I also bought a stick eyeshadow in the shade Shell. I don't know why my camera is not auto-focusing. That's what it looks like. I don't want to put it up too much just in case I break it. So I just finished preparing my chicken fajitas. Let this sit in the fridge for about four hours before I cook it. We're making fajitas tonight for supper. Easy recipe and it's very delicious and healthy. These are the wraps I was telling you about earlier. They're really good. They're called Protein Up by the company Flat Out. They have several different flavors, but we usually end up getting this one. And they're they're pretty nice, they're healthy as well. One wrap is 120 calories. So I think it works out to about four points on Weight Watchers. So we'll just take one wrap, fill it with the fajita mix, which is one large onion, three bell peppers, uh, some chicken breasts, and then I just drizzle it with olive oil and some taco seasoning. Okay, so it's time to put my fajitas in the oven to cook. The fajita mix has been marinating since noon hour and it's 4.30. So I'm just taking a cookie sheet. I bought these at Costco and I'm going to line it with aluminum foil just to uh, save my cookie sheet. I had to change my shirt because I got chicken juice all over it. So I'm just going to dump the fajita mix onto the cookie sheet. And just move it all around. My oven is heating. I cook this at 350 for about 40 minutes. And that's what the fajita mix looks like before I put it in the oven. So this is the fajita mix after it's been in the oven for 40 minutes at 350. And I always just check it with my handy probe. You want to make sure that chicken is at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll give you a quick peek of my uh, fajita before I start to eat. I just put a little bit of sour cream on the bottom, put in the chicken pepper mix, and top it with some cheese. So this is on our back deck. We put our pillows away, our cushions for our furniture, because we need to wash it all down. This is a Diplodenia. It's a pretty plant that flowers all summer. And my baskets were nice, but they've been out here since the end of April, and everything almost looks like it's about a month ahead. Like, I think they're getting pot bound, and I'm not sure how much longer they're gonna last. So we just finished planting these plants. It's very hot out here right now. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We're in full sun. I still have to get a plant for here. I'm one short. I love this mulch. It smells so nice. It's red cedar from out in BC. Well, there's the fireplace hose for the natural gas. So whenever that comes in. And I'll just show you the flower bed from here. I put my hummingbird feeder out. It's actually Thursday the next day and I just wanted to show you how curly my hair is like it's very humid out and this is what my hair gets like it's got a very natural curl to it. it's crazy and this dress that I have on is actually from Amazon so I got this dress from Amazon 
I've been wearing a lot of dresses this summer. They're just so easy. So we're back inside the house. It's hot out and there's lots of construction going on, which is annoying. <laughs> but I guess we'll be in it for the next couple of years. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little tour around my yard. And as we get our grass and whenever we get our fire pit, I'll be sure to show you guys. I'm hoping that we get it soon, but everything is delayed this year with COVID. If you want to see more vlogs, let me know in the comments and please subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care everybody. Bye.